Let's go check out the second room, which is over to the right side. Oh no, this is a master. Let's go to the other side first. Okay. please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell so you won't miss out on any of our top home store videos. We're also on Facebook and on Instagram so please give us a follow there as well so you can get access to the best property deals in the market. Our featured project today is located in Muntinlupa City and is within the same barangay as one of the most prestigious addresses in the area like Alabang Hills and Hills Borough. Likat Residences is a 1.2 hectare master plan community that's complete with top-notch amenities like a clubhouse with own swimming pool, viewing deck, fitness gym, and a playground. The property is adjacent to the Alabang Hills Church, South Ridge School, and Hills Borough Subdivision. It is in close proximity to malls like Philinvest Alabang and Alabang Town Center, as well as remarkable schools like the Parif South Ridge School, San Beda Alabang, and De La Salle Santiago Zubel. It's also less than 3 kilometers away from the first private tertiary hospital in the south, the Asian Hospital and Medical Center. It's just around 15 minutes to Ayala Alabang and around 30 minutes to Makati, BGC, and Pasay. Keeping the end user in mind, Likat Residences molds your Filipino roots into a haven of timeless design and breathtaking features, amenities, and open spaces where you can create stories after stories with your loving family. This exclusive 1.2 hectare community has a total of 6 to 8 beautifully designed townhouse units with each being about 3 to 4 stories high depending on which one you get. The lot areas range from 92 to 139 square meters and the floor space is anywhere between 238 to 323 square meters. It has 3 bedrooms, 4 toilet and baths, and a 2 vehicle carport. Just by looking at the facade, you'll see how charming and thoughtfully designed these townhouses are. And not just from the outside, but more so on the inside. It's inspired by the natural and eco-friendly elements of a Bahay Kubo, but distinctly modern. And I will show you one by one those Filipino-oriented elements as we go along the tour. So here you see a very modern facade with crisp and angular lines and you even have full glass balconies but I like how it's all softened by these hanging plants that you have on each floor including here on the ground floor and completing the facade is this modern cut adobe tiles. So it's not your typical facade where you have a just a painted cement wall. So it's really these small details that make this house really homey, inviting, and beautiful. This is your two-vehicle carport. And don't you worry if you have a third or a fourth car. This development actually has a dedicated, a separate dedicated parking space within the development which you can rent on a monthly or a yearly basis. And that's good because it means you cannot park your cars along the street and even better, your kids can maximize the outdoors and play in the streets. Just like how we did it 
during our childhood, right? So that's the typical Pinoy way of growing up. You play in the street. So are you also a batang kalya like me? Ako, my favorite, um, my favorite growing up is tagutaguan, langit lupa, patintero. How about you guys? What was your favorite childhood street game? Let me know in your comments down below. Okay, so now, before we enter the house, I would just like to point out that there is a service door right here. And then this whole area is for your service, uh, service areas. But I will go to each one in a bit. All right, but for now, let us access through the main door. So here, you have a solid wooden door with a black metal hand railing. So upon entering, you are greeted by this cozy receiving area. You have a nice bench here which can serve as your like preparation area when you go out or where you can remove your shoes. And then right over to my left is a spacious storage area. As you can see, it's, it's pretty big. So this is where you can store your Christmas decors, your uh, luggages, or it can even serve as a huge shoe rack um, since, of course, we cannot bring up the shoes upstairs anymore nowadays. All right, so we have two doors right over here. This door leads you back out to the garage. So you can use this if you have groceries and you don't want to go through that door anymore. And then right over here is a sliding door which leads you to your service area. So this one can serve as your dirty kitchen or your everyday kitchen where you can cook. But it also can serve as your laundry area. And then right over here is a very spacious toilet and bath for your staff. And then right across is their bedroom. And wow, look at this. It's very nicely decorated, but just to give you an idea, it's not, um, this is a model unit, so these furniture doesn't come with the sale, but the ceiling fan is, and all of the ceiling fans are included. Um, and also, this spacious closet space is already also included. You have here a window, an awning type of window, same with all of the windows in this house. Right over on this side, you have a cabinet which is where all the breakers are but i guess this can also serve as a storage for your brooms your mops and your other cleaning materials over here you have some vertical steel grills that separate the service area from the garage and but what's nice is that it's open so the breeze just naturally flows in on this area and then Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, if you want to keep this whole space as a kitchen and you want to move your washing machine out, then you can do so and put them here. This is where you can do your laundry and do your sampayin. Um, but this one is quite, it's open, but you can choose to enclose it with maybe a polycarbonate roofing. So at least you can still dry your clothes in this area. And again, just like what we have on the inside, you also have your steel grills right here to let the air naturally flow in. And then, okay, remember this door? I will lead you back to this door later on to show you what's behind it. Okay, so but for now, let me show you the main spaces of this house. Now, going up the second floor, you will notice that you have here some 
recessed wall lights illuminating the stairs and what I love about this staircase is it's very convenient to go up and down primarily because they have senorita steps which is particularly good for petite people like me because it's it's not so hard to go up and down the stairs and it's pretty wide considering the space and also I noticed that the depth of each space is good enough so if you are on the taller side it's still pretty easy to go up and down like your feet can still fit the stairs and then over to my right you can see a chevron pattern grill it actually has several purposes one of which is to allow the natural light to come in and also light up the stairs and also to have a feel of a bigger space so instead of just putting a plain wall they made it open and had this very gorgeous design all right so now this is the second floor and the main area of the house as you can see you have an open layout so you have here your dining area which sits four but to be honest i think it still can fit up to even a six-seater dining table if you like and then right over here you have a console where you can have your decorative pieces or maybe your food if you love to entertain so this can serve as your buffet table and then right over here is your living area so you have here your tv your entertainment wall you have here your couch and then all of this space is overlooking your balcony so from here even in your dining or even when you're chilling here in the sofa you have a sweeping view of the entire development so very quick i would just like to show you what's in here so this is your balcony this is probably around four or five square meters big it's pretty spacious so you have a space for a coffee table and a few chairs and then here is your full glass railing they made it like this so that you can really have a nice view of the development so from here i can see um, south ridge i can see the church um, from here you can also already see hillsborough alabang and the skyline of Phil and Best. Coming back inside, let me show you the kitchen. So this is your main kitchen and what I like about this is the neutral palette. So you have here your countertop and your top. Is this a top? colored drawers and cabinets which are all soft clothes and then right over here you have your induction cooktop for burner you have your range hood and you have an oven they all come in with the purchase already and you have a Franke sink not only captures the modern lifestyle that you have in mind like a modern kitchen like this but it also pays homage to our Filipino roots and one of the many Filipino oriented features that we have in this house is this this is a bangerahan do you guys know what it is it is actually the Filipino style of drying your dishes it's not like the ones that we have now, which are all electrical. This one, cost efficient. You just put your dish here and it will dry itself. Very nice. Now we have two more areas to show on this floor. One of which is this one. This is actually your powder room slash full bath. This can be used by your guests and the person occupying the first bedroom on this floor which we will go to in a bit. So you have here your sink, you have your water closet and your enclosed 
shower. Very nice, very modern. Okay, now right across is the first bedroom. And unlike the living area where you have tiles, here you have wood laminates for your flooring, making it more conducive to rest and it's more homey. And then right over here, you have a double bed and you have here a headboard illuminated by a strip light. And this can also serve as your side table, although it's not on the side, but um, serves the same purpose. You can put your trinkets in here and your lamps. Right over here is a work desk and some shelvings. And then right across your bed is your modern day Bahai Kubo window. So this is an awning type of window which you can easily open and close. And what's nice about this is that you can still keep it open even if it's raining. The water won't easily come in so you can just open it like this one and the water will just slide. All right. Now we're done with the second floor. Now time to show you what's on the third floor. Before I forget, all the drop lights that you see, the one in the kitchen and the one right here, they're all included in the sale already. And then let me just direct your attention to this. So this is your modern day jealousy. Um, but it's actually called a louver and it's made by Kenneth and Mock. And the best thing about this louver is that it's automatic. If you want to keep this open during daytime, you don't have to worry about mosquitoes as you also have a screen which you can pull down there. All right, now time to show you two more rooms. Now on this topmost floor, you have two rooms, the second bedroom and the master bedroom. Let me show you first the second bedroom. It's about the same size as the first bedroom that we saw and it also has the same huge picture window which allows a lot of natural light in and you have here a double bed and then you have here a side table and again um, a headboard that can serve as a shelving or Again, an area for your trinkets. Unlike the first bedroom, this room comes with its ensuite bath. So you have here a matte finished sink. It looks very modern. I love it. And then you have tiles all around floor to ceiling. So it looks very big. And then right behind the door, you have a water closet and your standing shower over here. All right. Before we go to the master bedroom, let me show you this area first. You have your built-in closet and it has an automatic light that turns on when you open the cabinet. And then you also have here a table for your as a work desk and you can put a TV also just like what they did on this wall. All right. So now let me show you my favorite room, the master bedroom. So here, you have a queen size bed. With the space, you can still do a king size bed, I suppose. And then you have here your entertainment wall, an area for a lounge chair. And now your master bedroom has its own spacious balcony the same size as the one that you have in your living room and it also has the same tempered glass as a railing which really affords you a nice view of the entire development and it's also good to note that the development has all its electrical cables underground so there are no eyesores only your neighbors 
their houses and the entire community that you will see. All right, now let me show you the master bath. But before I show you, I just wanna say, did I say that already? But all of the elect uh, ceiling fans are included in the sale. So it's pretty good because it's space saving and it's very safe. So if you have toddlers, you don't have to worry about them going to your electric fans because it's on the ceiling already. Now, this is your gorgeous master bathroom. And what I like about this is that it's sectioned very well. So upon entering, you have here your double vanity. Right across it is your wardrobe. And then right over here is your enclosed shower, which is entirely separate from your water closet, which is just right over here when you enter, right here. That's about it. No, not, not yet, right? We have to show you what's behind that door on the ground floor. Let's go. Before we go down, let me just direct your attention to this ultra height ceiling. This serves like a light well, except that it is fully enclosed, but you have some clerestory windows on both sides. The purpose of that is to let the natural light to come in. Over there, you can see that there are some spaces on the sides which allow the hot air or the warm air to escape, making this whole area still very well ventilated. All right. Now, let's go check out what's behind this third door. So this door leads you out to your spacious garden and lanai. So it extends from the garage all the way to the front part of the house. So this is pretty spacious. This is probably around 50, 60 square meters big. You can do a lot with this space. Um, please note though that this comes unfurnished. So these custom made lounge is not included. But if I were you, I will copy this one. And to make it even more chic, I will add some white cushions and throw in some throw pillows. All right. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching this video and I hope to see you guys again in our next home tours. So if you are in search of a home here in the Alabang area and you love and appreciate these thoughtfully designed townhomes, please let us know and we will be happy to assist you. The developer offers great terms which you can take advantage of, so just please let us know. You can contact us in the details below. Again, my name is Bien and this is Top Realty, your partner in real estate. And then, okay, so right to my right, right to my right. Okay, now right beside me, Beside <laughs> one of which is this one, which is the powder room. And hmm, ang bango. Hindi to ang bango. Ang pang. Tama Pero ang bango niya talaga. Hawi Shangela. Your work or desk. Oh, work or malay 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 malay. Again 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 again. You have here your awning window. Which 
nicht. <lacht> Thanks for watching our property videos. We hope you've enjoyed them as much as we've enjoyed creating them for you. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on more exciting videos.